Welcome back to Yandere Simulator. No, I'm not touching that kind of game with a 10 foot pole. <laughs> no, I know, I'm just. <laughs> it's one of those games where the dev has done horrible shit and you just don't. God damn it. <laughs> I know, I watched that video with you. It's fucking horrifying. I was. That was the first thing that popped into my head, and I don't know why, because I. Yeah. Yeah, any person that does not know, the developer of Yandere Simulator is a petulant child. <laughs> Even when people try to help him, he can't help but insult them. <laughs> because they're doing something different than what he does. Yes. A door. Darkness. Oh no, there's the princesses and also Alice. <laughs> I don't understand the dark crystal thing. Um... Maleficent has a weird idea of furnishings. Uh. <gasps> what? My name for this episode. We can use it. What's that? Door to Dorkness. Door to Dorkness? Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Oh, uh, yes. The fucking worst Kyrie. boss battle in this game. Because <laughs> it's so fucking hard. Kyrie! Kyrie! Open your eyes! It's no use. That Are you just sitting there just waiting for someone to come in? Yes. It's like, hold on, if I sit up here, I'll look cool. You're not very cool. The keyhole cannot be completed so long as the last princess of heart still sleeps. He is princess? dark Jesus. Kyrie's a princess? Yes. I mean, Alice isn't a princess either, but apparently Nomura thought it was more interesting than Ariel. You are. Let Riku go. Give him back his heart. But first, you must give the princess back her heart. What's Squara? Don't you see yet? The princess's heart is responding. Okay. It has been there all along. Kyrie's heart rests within you. Yeah, they have a habit of making Sora a literal walking contain heart container. <laughs> no. I know all that there is to know. <laughs> Tell me, who are you? It is I, Ansem, the Seeker of Darkness. I'm sorry. Am I supposed to know who you that who that is? I mean, Donald deserves that. Yeah, a little bit. So, I shall release you now, princess. Complete the keyhole with your power. Open the door. Lead me into everlasting darkness. So is that make him a hat? One of those quote-unquote nice guys where he goes m'lady and thinks he gets everything? He's like an insult. Forget it. Kyrie's not gonna fuck There's you, my no dude. Way you're taking Kyrie's heart. I really hope that wasn't audible on the thing. Uh, we'll see. Fucking stop jumping everywhere, you white haired cunt. I say, even though I'm dying my hair gray in a few days. <laughs> Seriously, sorry, I couldn't just go another like two inches. reacts faster than you can. Like, 
when I do the tech bonus, that should mean there's an opening light long enough for me to, you know, get an attack in. I mean, like, you would hope? Sometimes just being reckless pays off. <laughs> Just swing. <laughs> oh, no, I can't swing. I wanna heal. Maybe. There you go. You don't wanna do this fight more than once. God damn it. If it didn't give invincibility, I wouldn't mind it as much, but you never, it's just a rule of cool kind of attack. It's he's doing his thing, you're not allowed to interrupt. Or no. Goodbye, Raiku. Raiku. Oh yeah, so guys, we're playing Resident Evil 7 next for our days. Well, I'm playing Resident Evil 7. Ryan's gonna watch me and laugh while I cry. Watch, laugh, judge. <laughs> Rude. Granted, I've only played the game once, so... Yeah. It's been, like, hard choosing now that I, like, have a stake in the channel and stuff. Like, what we're gonna do... <laughs> Or rather, now that I'm given a choice of what we get to do. It's hard. I've been debating. It's like, I know we were talking about doing Resident Evil and I definitely want to do that. Because it's also like a shorter game too, right? Like it's not... Mm, overall, yeah. Yeah. It, would you say it's as short as Resident Evil 8 though? Probably. Okay. So it's not that bad. But it's like... I. I wonder what next. It's like I was thinking about that and I was like, hmm, maybe it would be cool to do like a Dragon Near playthrough. Or like, you know, Nino Kuni or something. Mm, I typically try, well, this is just more my opinion, but try and stay away from blind RPG playthrough. Just because of how long those are when you know what you're doing. Yeah. Well, look at the hearts. The only one of the only times we'll see Bell's actually no, we'll see Bell in this and the next game. We see Cinderella for all of pretty much this game and like an hour an hour in another game. I don't think we ever actually I don't know, I haven't played recoded, but I don't know if we see Alice ever again. Who are the other princesses? Jasmine, Belle, Cinderella. Aurora. Yeah, I never actually interact with Aurora. What's what's happening to me? Falling falling into darkness. Alright. <laughs> Yeah. Sora? Aren't you really? No. He can't be. I won't let him go! You know what been fun for five minutes in this game? So, you have a Is if Kyrie became a key, like the wielder of the Keyblade for a bit. Now <laughs> you have served your purpose. Even if it was just temporary and you weren't go back to Sora later, because we've made no... We've made no attempt at even hiding it. So, you play a sore in all subsequent games. Like it's no, no doubt with something. Except for uh, Birth by Sleep. Yeah, but that's a prequel. Yeah, but you said sub all subsequent games. Okay, all games that take place later in, in the timeline, so to speak. You gotta run. 
The Heartless are coming. Oh no, the Heartless. spending some time on this random heartless what oh no guys whom could it be also if you really think about it this is a really fucking stupid decision why because yeah. this is supposed to be Sora no surprise spoilers oh to who who cares enough I'm just being a shithead yeah like this is supposed to be Sora um for the I, I, I'm not some diehard Kingdom Hearts fan. I don't get dive into the lore like a, like every inch of it. But a shadow is only known as a pure-blooded heartless, as in a heartless that comes from the realm of darkness directly with no alterations. Yeah. This is a creature born of the darkness of people's hearts, <laughs> or sorry, born from the dark recesses of the of people's hearts. Yeah. It should not contain a person's heart from the realm of light. <laughs> For a heart... Because the heartless themselves are... Just a, jump over the side. Oh, that's right. Are species all on their own. So you should... So I should be playing as an emblem heartless right now. No. Nar. Oh, I can't use switches. Even though they have hands. <laughs> Meh. I guess I would imply that they're smarter than Nomura wants them to be. Yeah. Yeah, just like, I get the I get the idea of this scene. It's like you want to play as a heartless to like to show like he's like he's not really gone and it gets Sora's heart. <laughs> Yeah. But it's a pure blooded heartless. <laughs> they basically establish like one of the, the first time you see an emblem heartless is like Yeah, this heartless took a this heart fell to darkness, so a heartless with a crest on it showed up. Yeah, the one time so Donald doesn't zap a heartless with with spells on the spot. <laughs> Yeah. This time I'll protect you. Yeah, you say that a you actually say that a lot in this series, but you don't actually do shit. <laughs> what was that line read? Kyrie, <laughs> your supper is getting cold. <laughs> I'll fucking do it again. <laughs> yeah, uh, it gets to the point where I actually hate hearing the line from Kyrie, I'll protect you. Yeah. Because she doesn't do a single thing. She is literally just a plot device in this series. She doesn't actually do us. anything. I told you before, I'm not leaving without Bell. Now go! It's sad when literally every other female in this franchise gets more to their character or is shown to be more capable than Kyrie. Yeah. Tell me what happened. Yeah, if you thought we were so done now. No. We've basically still got a world and a half to go. Yep. Oh look, it's a talking corpse. And the one of the first popular Edge Boys. It's a shooty McBlade boy. You know Squall's trademark catchphrase, catchphrase in his own game? What? Whatever. Wow, seriously? Yeah, he says it that frequently in Final Fantasy VIII. Just like the keyhole you saw. Wow. Of course, without Kyrie's heart, it remained incomplete. Once that keyblade was destroyed, the princess's hearts should have been freed. 
Don't worry, Sora. But it wasn't destroyed. It kind of just evaporated. Yeah. <laughs> Which doesn't make any sense, because if Sora f- freed Kyrie's heart from himself, shouldn't that have completed that Keyblade then? <sighs> we're not going to worry about it. No, okay. The more, we're... The more uh, you learn very quickly, the more you try and think about this franchise, the less sense it's going to make. <laughs> So I'm going to do something that I haven't done since the start. Nope, I didn't mean to go that way. I'm going to do one thing I haven't done since the start of this, this playthrough. What? Actually go see the Dalmatians with their puppies. Oh. Out of the, oh, fuck, there's, oh, that's right. After this point, all worlds get stronger, Heartless. Yeah. Did Look, it, there did... was a... A chase. Oh my god. Oh, all I can taste is chocolate. Is that a good or bad thing? I don't know yet. <laughs> I made a chocolate cake for dessert tonight, guys. I have had wholly too much chocolate today. <laughs> it's weird to me. I know I know it was just designed that way from the cartoon, but it's weird to me that... What are the names? Pongo and... Perdita. Perdita are so slim. But all the puppies are chunky. Yeah, I guess puppies are always chunky. I know, but I mean... They shouldn't be that be that huge of a difference between the adults and the puppies, though, should there? Well, the main difference is, like, puppies get, like, milk tummies. So they get little chunky bellies from... Drinking milk and stuff. How many of the puppies have I actually found in this playthrough? So I don't know. Um, that many. I found 48, apparently. So a little over half. <laughs> yeah. Um. Either way, we'll see everyone in the next episode of Three Dorks Play. Yeah. Look at this slow glide. Truly, Sora is master of the skies. <laughs> <laughs> oh god goodbye everyone I'm done <laughs> peace the fuck <laughs>